Hi guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the temporal bone. This is a paired bone. It articulates with one parietal bone. the occipital bone, the sphenoid bone, one zygomatic bone, and the mandible. And again, it can be confused with any of the other flat bones that we've discussed such as the parietal and the frontal, as well as the occipital, the scapulae, and the innominates. Okay, so we're looking at the ectocranial surface. Here is the bacilla aspect or the basal aspect. And here is the lateral aspect. First, we'll orientate ourselves. And the way we do this is we find the zygomatic process, and this marks the anterior part of the bone. Okay, so now that we've orientated ourselves, we use the styloid process and the mastoid process to tell us which is inferior and which is superior. Okay, so now that we know which way is the front and which way is up and which way is down, we need to know which way is out and which way is in. We can use the squamous part of the temporal bone and also the external auditory meatus to tell us that we're on the external surface. We'll have a look at some features on the bacilla aspect of the temporal bone, which will help us to identify that it is in fact the temporal bone and which surface we are looking at, whether it be the internal or the external surface. Here we have the articular tubercle. In front of the mandibular fossa. The mandibular fossa is for the articulation of the mandible with the temporal bone. So the condyle of the mandible sits in here. Directly behind we have the petrotympanic fissure. And this transmits corda tympani, which is a branch of the facial nerve. Then we have our styloid process. And behind the styloid process we have the stylomastoid foramen. have our external auditory meatus. Then our mastoid process. And medial to the mastoid process, we have the mastoid notch. And this is for the attachment of the 
posterior belly of the digastric muscle. Here we're looking at the endocranial surface. Because the styloid process is down here, we know that this is inferior. So this is superior. Here we can see the zygomatic process. So we know that this is anterior. And then this is posterior. Here's the internal auditory meatus. And this is lying in the part of the temporal bone referred to as the petrous temporal bone. And petrous means rock-like. So this is the rock-like part of the temporal bone. Here we have the squamous temporal bone. And a groove for the middle meningeal artery. Back here we have another part of the sigmoid sulcus which was also found on our parietal bone and just above the internal auditory meatus we have the supramiatal crest and that about wraps it up for the temporal bone thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please feel free to comment Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks and I'll see you soon.